friends upsc civils exam prelims prelims examination is over and i know that all the candidates who attended the examination are waiting for the results results may be announced in another uh, one week or so so those candidates who are getting around 90 shall start preparing for mains examination i'm talking of general category if it is obc or other reservation categories you can reduce the cutoff accordingly so general category as we are expecting may be around 90 mocks so now once results are out you will have around 80 days for the mains examination and for these 80 days how shall you prepare for the mains examination is a key and remember compared to the prelims mains is a easy stage because for prelims definitely you need to have information of all subjects because question can come from anywhere but in mains that's not the case in mains even if you are not very content about a question still you can write a good answer if you know the answer writing techniques also in mains you no need to prepare every line and every information in order to gather you can just focus on important areas of every subject and only very important issues of current affairs for mains exam prelims is not like that you may have to remember almost most of the facts even slightest of the smallest of the current affairs also you may have to remember so according to me mains is the easy stage and those candidates who have that uh, knack for the mains who prepare exactly in a planned way for the mains can easily crack mains so mains is easier than prelims i know many candidates who are very good at mains but they are getting less marks in prelims this year i know some students who are getting 110 120 in paper 1 prelims but paper 2 they are not qualifying they are getting less than 67 there are many students like that hence those who qualified or those who are getting around 90 in prelims you are lucky and you have to immediately start preparing for mains now how should you go about these 80 days is what i'm going to explain here now friends the common mistake i'm observing from last few years is that once they qualify in the prelims they will start preparing for the mains and they will not write the exams for first 30 to 40 days what they will think is first let me finish the syllabus once syllabus is over once preparation is over obviously we can write the answers very well that is wrong actually very few candidates who have already got very good answer writing skills because of their graduation whatever only they may be able to write good answers without practicing but otherwise according to me completing syllabus is secondary answer writing practice is primary because syllabus you can never complete i mean you can complete but only to important points can be completed entire syllabus can never be finished believe me so answer writing practice shall go hand in hand in tandem with the finishing of syllabus now so do not wait till you finish the syllabus do not wait don't do this mistake okay then friends how shall you go about in the first few days first 10 to 14 days what shall you do is 50 percent of a day in a day let us say preparing for eight hours four hours you spend on optional and four hours you spend on those topics which you do not deal in prelims for example in prelims you might have prepared for history geography economy polity you know ir and environment science technology but you might not have touched the society of india you might not have touched the world history world history you know and governance part leave the lakshmikan polity governance you you you, are, you do not need in the prelims to generally governance part and uh, you know uh, internal security and disaster management you see and social justice so it's been ethics ethics and optional these are the things which generally you might not have touched in the last three to four months of the prelims examination of course in the initial stage of preparation you might have done but in the last three to four months of may uh, prelims examination you might have completely left out these things so focus on these things in the first in a few days because history geography economy polity environment whatever you studied for the prelims is generally enough to answer the mains if you know the answer written technique so focus on these things in the first few days after that once this is over then you start revising the history art and in history means ancient medieval modern art and culture geography start revising but first finish these things
and optional plays a key role. Continuously focus on the optional throughout the 80 days. Do not leave optional at all. Because general studies you can manage, even if you are not very sure, you can somehow manage the answers. Optional you cannot manage. You should have the strength in the optional subject. Then friends, out of 80 days for the mains preparation, leave the last 10 days as buffer, maybe for revision, whatever, leave it. Prepare for only 70 days. Now divide these 70 days into certain modules. For example, first 5 days I will revise polity, next 5 days geography, next 5 economy, ethics, like that you divide 70 days into certain modules and on each module write one full exam. Full exam according to me is 20 questions, 3 hours. It's called full exam. On each module, means prepare, finish polity, write 20 questions of polity. Prepare economy, write 20 questions of economy. Like that module wise preparation is important. It gives you confidence. For example, in our test series also, at Sarachana Academy also, in our test series also, we have, see, actually our test series has 21 tests. In those 20, 80 days, 21 tests. In those 21 tests, 11 tests are module wise tests that we are conducting. 10 tests are full tests. Friends, full test means you have essay, general studies 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 5 papers. Again, essay, general studies 1, 2, 3, 5, total 10. So, you write 10 full exams and 11 module. What do you mean by module? See, for example, every institute or every student can divide the syllabus into his or her own modules. Okay. For example, at our academy, we divided the uh, overall syllabus into 11 modules. What are they? For example, only Indian history is one module. Indian history is one module. It consists of ancient, medieval, modern art and culture. You have to spend few days for it. Then geography is one module then world history plus society of india is one module means we conduct 120 questions full exam only on each module okay then you know polity only polity one module then governance plus social justice we we have made we have created or complete exam on that module then international relations plus internal security we created a module then economy, only economy is a module. Environment plus disaster management, again, is one thing. Then science and technology is one thing. Ethics is one thing. Entire ethics, single module only. Then essay. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So like that, we divide the entire syllabus into 11 modules. So each of them will have one full exam, 20 questions exam. Like that, 11 modules, 11 tests and 10 full tests, total 21 tests will be connected like that. You know, to, you no need to divide in this way only, you can divide in your own way, but for our test series, we divide it like this. So what happens is in these 70 days, you have to finish all these things in 70 days. And last 10 days, you may have to write the full exams, okay. Then, friends, see, this is uh, actually anybody who want to look into the details of our 21 test series, you can scan this barcode and see that either you can write all 21 tests or students who want to write only full tests, you can write only 10 full tests. This is for students who already wrote mains previously and writing the mains once again, you know to write the modules, you can write 10 full tests. However, specifically for some students who want to write only GS1, some students want to write, some students want to write only GS1 because they feel they are weak. What they can do is, if for example in our academy what we do is, they can write only GS1 5 exams. What are those 5 exams? One is history, history of India, second is geography, third is society, old history, these three and two full exams, total 5 exams. So only GS1 you can write only 5 exams. Or some students may feel that they are weak in GS3, GS3 they are weak. Such students can take only GS3 5 exams. What are those 5 exams? One is economy, another is environment disaster management, third is SNT, three exams and two full exams, two full exams like that. If you want, you can take even the modules. So either you can write all 21 exams or you can write only 10 full tests or you can take only one paper, GS1 and write five exams like that. We have customized it. Anyhow, for all these details, you can scan the barcode and go into that and read the details. Now friends, 
One very important technique I would like to tell to score more in the mains, preparing well in these 80 days is that you cannot write, every day you cannot write a full exam. I mean 3 hours, 20 questions, you cannot write every day. You have to write once in 4 days or 5 days. So this is once in few days. However, every day you have to write 2 questions or 3 questions, at least 2 questions or 3 questions every day. Now why I am focusing on both the things is friends, when you write 20 questions at a stretch in 3 hours, you cannot really focus on the answer quality or enrichment of answer. You will only focus on time management. Your idea is finishing 20 questions in 3 hours. Time management comes into play there. Because you, you should not try to excel in every answer. You have to try to be above average in every answer. Overall, you have to finish the paper. But when you write two questions every day, only two questions every day, you can actually focus on the quality of the answer. Quality. You can enrich the answer. Hence, full exam for time management, daily two questions for enriching the answer quality. You have to do both. Don't neglect either of the things. Okay. The next important thing, friend, this is also very important. I have observed this many times among our students previous also. I used this strategy for our previous students and, and they actually got very good marks because of this strategy. This strategy is that some exams you have to write planned exams. Planned exams means for example if you take our test series or any other test series, you will have this weekend history, next geography. So plan, prepare for the syllabus, write the exam, prepare, write the exam. So when you prepare geography and write geography exam, obviously you will do well mostly. That is called planned exam. But means for planned exam is test series, test series, but you have to write unplanned tests also. So I suggest you that these two questions you're writing now, write unplanned. For example, let, for example, you're preparing history for next seven days, preparing history. Let you take two questions from economy, write the answers. When you are preparing ethics, take two questions from uh, world history and write answers. So whatever you're preparing, irrespective of that, take two random questions and write. So such kind of random questions actually you can get from UPSC mains answers.com. Actually, this is a public platform. UPSC mains answers.com. In this website, daily two questions will be posted for next 80 days. And every student can write the answer in the same platform. You can upload your image of your answer. Let us say you wrote the answer on a paper. You can take a photo, upload it on the uh, platform or convert into PDF, upload it, or you can type the answer, whatever. And as many students write answer on this platform, you can compare your answers with other candidates. So this is a pre free platform. UPSC mains answers.com is a free platform. Everybody can use it. This is for unplanned test. Daily two questions you write it. Okay. So both are important. Why? Because in the actual mains exam, out of 20 questions, some four to five questions will be like from nowhere. I mean, you, you will not even know where the questions came from. But you should be able to face these questions very well. Actually, your rank depends upon those four or five questions only. Remember, 15 questions, everybody knows, everybody will answer. Those five questions, how do you handle? That quality you have to learn by writing unplanned tests. So, friends, this is a barcode for test series. Test series. Now, second important thing I want to tell you, friends, there are two types of learning that you have to undergo. One is the exams that you are writing some faculty member or a mentor or an expert have to evaluate. For example, if you take the test series, if you take any paid test series, any paid test series, they will be evaluating your papers. Okay. Even for example, in our academy also, there are a group of experts whose job is only to evaluate papers and give feedback, personalized feedback. That is one thing that you can do. But second thing is comparison with friends. This actually helps as much as this one. For example, you are writing two questions every day or some 10 questions, 20 questions every four days. Your answer paper, you have to have a peer group, a group of people who are preparing very well along with you. You try to see their answers because in real time, this other person also would have written in three hours only in real time. So how does he approach each question? Some questions you can learn from him. His answers may be better than you. Some techniques he can learn from you. So never shy away from sharing your answers. The more answers you share, they will also share and you can compare. A lot of techniques can be developed from the peer group because everybody have their own way of flow charts, introduction, conclusion, body of the answer, integrating current affairs, facts, opinions. They have their own style. You can learn different styles. Never neglect this one friends. So, for example, I told you, you know, UPSC mainsanswers.com is a platform. In this platform, daily two questions will be given. 
and many students write answers on that you can compare our answers with them on this platform okay and this platform will become more active in coming days because just now prelims exam is over few students may be writing this once results are out more and more students will start writing on this and you can compare your answers with them friends the short notes is important for certain topics for example see citizens charter for example those kind of niche topics which you would not have prepared for prelims which you would not have taken notes elsewhere new topics only for mains specifically you can make a short notes and you can revise the notes in fact you have to by heart some standard definitions and words very few things so you can use them reproduce them in the examination whichever thing you think you have to by heart or remember or whichever thing you think is very useful for mains make a short notes of that in this 70 days and revise it in the last 10 days it will really help you in the mains many people who remember the important terms important aspects by heart it and able to use it in different answers score more marks so do this friends as i told you don't forget you are lucky to have clear prelims because prelims has become dicey even those who who got rank last year are failing this year prelims some of our students also who got ranks last year have failed this prelims so if you if you're clearing prelims you are lucky actually so as you are lucky definitely consider this as the easiest step mains easily you can crack the mains in 80 days if you are on the right track right strategy with right mentorship right people right test series everything you plan right way easy you can crack you no need to have as much knowledge as required for prelims i'm telling you prelims requires more knowledge mains requires only strategy okay then as many capable candidates already failed in prelims i have seen this year also many people are not getting good marks in prelims if you pass prelims clear prelims you are lucky go ahead you have to crack the examination mains exam following the right strategy thank you friends thank you take care see you in the next video i will discuss about common mistakes you do in the mains answer writing bye